Good morning, everyone. We're back. We got the gang. We're heading out fishing. Stick with me. Stay tuned. We're just walking out. It's a little soupy this morning. We're after them jumbos again. We're gonna put the camera away. Pick it up when we get set up here, guys. See that? Alright guys, we have learnt a very valuable lesson today, out here on the ice. Always, always wear your insulated rubber boots. I've got my other winter boots on, and well, we found out the hard way, with all the slush on the lake here, that we've got a hole. My feet are cold. My feet are soaking wet, and it's not even 10 a.m. So, I'm making a long walk back to the truck, change boots, and while we're there, we're gonna grab the heat and the propane, because we left it in the truck this morning, figuring it was gonna be fairly mild. I don't know if you guys can see, where are they? They are right over there. Right there. The boys are set up. We're doing all right this morning. We've got uh, a decent pile of jumbo perch going and uh, Zach, that's Dion's younger brother, just landed his very first pike. That's pretty awesome. Give him a thumbs up for that. His very first pike. Let's congratulate him together. Great fight. Glad to see him catching some fish. Stick with me, stay tuned. We'll give you an update when we get to the truck, change our boots, and then we're gonna make the long walk back out. All right, take care guys. All right, we're back at the truck. We got the new boots on. Thank God, hopefully that's gonna help a little bit with the slosh so we don't get as cold and wet feet. We got the, the heater and the propane and the sled. And we're making the walk back out to see the boys. Hopefully they've got a pile of jumbos on the ice for us. Wouldn't that be sweet? Let me know, have you guys been out fishing yet? Drop a comment in the section down below. Let me know, you guys been out fishing? What are you catching? What would you like to target this winter? Uh, today's just, like I said, a perch mission, but I'm hoping this weekend, maybe, I can get out and uh, I want to get after some walleye. Start chasing some of those. We've got ice on one of the walleye lakes right close by to where I am right now. I might even slip up there later today and check ice conditions and, I don't know, just got to lay the land kind of thing. If you guys would like to see me go walleye fishing, let me know. I'm going to be doing it anyway, but yeah. Drop a like, drop a comment. All right, see you when we get back out on the ice. Cheers. do a little retie here for you guys what I'm fishing with I'm moving from a small little tungsten jig I'm gonna be fishing with a bit of a blade kind of spoon style lure this is called the Reaper I've had really good luck on this in the past it's a little bit heavier I can get down there a little quicker I'm gonna tie this on I'm fishing four pound braided ice line I did have a leader on earlier but broke off and I didn't bother retying 
but uh, one of the quickest lures I like to tie or quickest knots I like to tie on my lures it's called a Palomar knot those of you who don't know you simply start with your line straight we're gonna fold our line over so now we've got a loop end okay we're gonna make that loop a little bit tighter and we're gonna pass the loop through the eyelet of the lure kind of like that so now you have the tag end and the main line and the loop in your, in your other hand now I'm riding the struggle bus there we go then we're going to tie one simple overhand knot in that cross it pass through the loop and pull snug okay so now you've got a loop on this end your tag line and your main line on this end so you're going to open this loop up and you're going to pass the whole lure back through the loop so now you should have the lure on one side and everything else on the other so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your main line and your tag line end I like to wet mine a little bit just to eliminate some of the friction on your line and I grab the tag end and the main line and pull in opposite directions and that's going to cinch the knot down on the loop of your lure kind of like that there you go leaves me with a bit of a tag end which is fine I just go ahead cut my tag end off and there we go I don't know if you guys can see that there we are rigged up just fishing with a little bit of a minnow we're using a full minnow right now and away we go. Back down we go for another fish. Catch you guys after. Cheers. We are getting a couple little bites. Got them. All right, guys, a little midday update for you. Current time check, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Fishing's been all right, right? Yeah. As you guys know, we got Dion back in the shack hey guys. fishing. I didn't give you guys an introduction this morning. We got Mr. Tyler. Tyler hey. fishing. He's got a nice pile going beside him. We got a pike. And we got Zach making Swiss cheese back there in the background. Zach, give him a wave. Here's Zachary. Zach and Dion are brothers. And we got the, the Johnston boys out today. Hopefully putting a shellac in. Your brother's just, <laughs> yeah, he's giving her. Good for him. Yeah, we're having fun. Four of us out here, shooting the breeze, catching some fish, having some laughs. That's what it's all about. Figured we'd give you an update. What's the screen looking like here, Dion? Let's oh, show them the screen. Oh, we got a couple fish on the screen there. They're down there. Playing a little tight-lipped, hard to get right now, but let's go out and look at a couple of these keepers, shall we? Ty got some absolute monsters, some units. Ty, we're coming to look at your fish. <laughs> There they be. The fishing freaks would like to see. We got a, a pike. And we got a couple of great big old jumbos. Look at the size of that. Healthy, healthy fish. Getting a decent collection going. There's Zachary. Good eight. What, you only drilled one hole? No, I'm good for now. All right, friends, it's kind of the update. We're gonna get back at her, do some fishing. Dion's praying for that three o'clock bite again, if you guys uh, watched our last fishing episode. 
three o'clock seemed to be uh, all of a sudden, eh? It was yeah. just bam, bam, bam. It was pretty good. So we got uh, a couple hours to kill before we get there, but fingers crossed, three o'clock, the bite turns on for us. Become a thing for us, inside joke. If you haven't checked it out, check out our last ice fishing video. We're basically set up in the exact same spot again and having an all right day. So, Dion's on. No? No. Lost him. All right, guys, we'll leave you there for now. We'll check in again in a little bit. Take care. Let me tell you guys, sitting here fishing, of course, I break out the GoPro, get the camera going. Oh, you going outside? Yeah. All right. And, uh, oh my Lord, we are on something big here. Wow, on camera too. It's a big pike. It's got him. That's a good one. Let him run, let him run, let him run. Yo, you got a pike on. I got a pike on, yeah, and we're filming. He's peeling me, he's running over to you, just FYI. He's right here. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Oh, oh. Now he's gone. He's gone, I still got him on. Here we go, ready? Here comes the head. Nice! Woo! Thank you for the help. Yeah. I was, whoa, what are the chances of that? I was literally just telling you guys, turn the camera on and I swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Can't catch uh, any perch. And then all of a sudden, shablam. Nice pike tad to the scoreboard today. You want to harvest? You want another pike to take home? Yeah, I can. Anybody? If not, I'll I'll keep it. I guess I'll keep we'll it. Keep it. Well, we got all those fish from the last outing. Yeah. I'll keep adding to them. Ow! You bugger! There we go, guys. Check that out. Little I don't know, 23, 24 incher. We're gonna harvest them. You may as well take them out with you. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right on. How'd you like that, guys? If you like that, that was totally, like, I wasn't marking a fish or anything. Just dropped down, figured we were laughing, uh, pick up, because I, I put it on time-lapse mode, so you guys are going to see, well, you would have just seen that, and uh, I missed about five fish in a row, so I figured I'd pick up the camera. It was kind of funny just to kind of bring you guys along on that one, because all you'll see is me swinging and missing, and then just like that, that's fishing. Cub bang decent pike it was a good little fight it's starting to fire up here for the rest of the later part of the afternoon what's our time check 151 yeah we're having fun out here guys it's been a great day good buddies having some laughs catching some fish that's what it's all about with that uh well we got no perch underneath us because i just pike in the way but uh yeah, stick with me, stay tuned. We're going to hang out for another couple hours, keep fishing, and uh, we'll get back to you if we get anything else cool going on. That was pretty sweet that I got it all on camera. Hit the like button for that, boys. All right, catch you on the next one. Cheers. All right, we're back. Sun's shining. Sun came out. It's warming up. You're good. We figured uh, we're going to move outside and do a little fishing outside the hut right now while well, the sun's out spirits are high we got fish on the ice you know walk around watch the other guys fish for a couple minutes still in your chair get in the chair tyler <coughs> what do we got going on here tyler um marking some on bottom pike flopping around there You're having a pretty good day so far though, huh? Yeah, not bad. Can't complain. Double digits. That's what we came here for. You gonna have a fish Friday night? Or are you gonna save them up? Uh, probably tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 
What time's dinner? We'll be over. Then yeah. we got the D-Meister. What's going on, YouTube? Fishing outside, what do we got? Oh, well, you're marking some fish, anyway. Let's see a big old swing and a miss. Yeah. The Dion Special. Then we got Zach over here doing Zach things. What's going on, buddy? Well, you know. Well, you got one keeper over there. An hour and a half ago and well, you we can't catch him without a lure in the water there, bud. Got one on the ice, you know. A little, little rod switch. Yeah. What are you fishing with? Let's show the freaks here at home. A little tungsten. What kind of fire tiger chartreuse colored? I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There we go. Tipped with a minnow, right? Yep. Yep. What, every fish today is coming a minnow? No, I think I got a couple on a plastic earlier, right? Plastic. Is anybody catching? <coughs> There's the hut set up. Lake in the background. There's not too many guys out. One way over there, a couple guys out further past us, but we are the only one in this immediate vicinity. It's fantastic. Somebody catch us a fish. We need to film one. Okay, he says, we're gonna catch a fish. Stay tuned, I'll get back to you with a fish catch cam. Cheers. Well, that's gonna wrap up the day for us, guys. We are all packed up, heading in. The boys are ahead of me, making the walk off the ice. We ended up with exactly the same amount of fish, like identical as our last time out. 16 perch and two pike. That blows my mind, that's a little crazy. It'll hit the like button for that. Like, what are the chances? We couldn't have done one more big keeper. But uh, yeah, overall, great day out with these three boys. Second time out for the year. Looking forward to getting a couple more adventures under the belt this season. Um, yeah, this weekend, like I said earlier, I might get out for some walleye. So drop a comment down below if you'd like to see that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get back to the truck. Cheers. All right, guys, we're back here in the garage. We got the fish here in the bag, getting ready to clean them. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys the actual filet process and how to clean a fish. YouTube kind of guidelines. I don't really like all that uh, blood and guts, but I can show you what we did harvest today. So as I said in previous videos, we harvested 16 perch, two pike today out on the ice. That's the exact same as what we caught the last time so throw a like for that but uh yeah between it we are three of us or i guess four of us because dion and dion and uh zach both took home a bunch of perch themselves ty is just for him tyler he only eats the fish in his family his wife and his, and his daughter don't and uh so he took a few and we all went home with some some fish so that's great so now we're coming up to the process now it's time. We gotta clean them, get them ready for the for the fry pan. Just gonna get everything laid out here for you guys. And we're gonna do up four perch, one pike. There's those. Get that out of the way. All right. I'm going to get these going. As you can see, there's our pike. We got a couple of perch. Here, I'll hold them up quick for the camera. It's not massive, but uh, great size for take home. Provides great table fare. Good eating. All right, we're gonna get these cleaned up. Stick with me, stay tuned. I'll uh, tune back in with you guys when I get them all done up and they're in meat form. All right, cheers.
boom, just like that, we are done. We are done. These are ready to go get battered into the grease, have a little fish fry. I'm not going to cook them up tonight, probably tomorrow night, just because it's late. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. That's uh, full catch, clean, almost cook for you. Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button to follow along. I'm hopefully going to be coming out with a bunch more content in the next little while. As I mentioned earlier, I'm planning on fishing this weekend. We'll see if that all goes according to plan. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys liked uh, the little intro and I've got a cool little outro clip for you, animated, um, that I did up with my logo. Let me know if you guys like that. All right. Hit that, like I said, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and, uh, yeah, follow along for some more content. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for tuning into another episode. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.